Hey there Dark Souls players, this is Sunbro Sebastian again, and today I am bringing you the strategy for how to fight the Iron Golem. Uh, for this fight I am so level 47 with the following equipment. And for the newer player to the Iron Golem fight, I definitely do recommend um, summoning Iron Tarkus to help you fight, as he makes this fight a ton of fun. Um, you can actually just find him at the um, end of the hallway at the end of the bridge right there. Um, but if you're like me on this run, and you don't have the humanity to summon him, and you can't find co-op, and you just want to do it live, this is how you do it live. Once you enter the room, you just want to make your way up to the first step and sit tight right there. It'll throw a wind blade, and if you're at the bottom of the steps, it won't do anything. But if you're at the top of the steps, you'll have to wind up dodging it. Other than that, you just want to sit tight and wait for him to come to you. Wait for him to come to about midfield. And as far as fighting the Iron Golem, this is the first fight where you want to learn to not lock onto your target. Um, in fact, the only time you really want to lock onto him is just to keep track of him and where he is and what he's doing. What makes the Iron Golem a tough fight is that his attacks are huge and they're intimidating. Um, he himself also doesn't take a whole lot of damage. And if you spend too much time under him, he'll actually just pick you up like that and toss you on the ground. So he's the Iron Golem. He's large, he's in charge. Do you go mobility or do you go poise against him? I definitely have to go with mobility every day of the week just simply because he does damage through your shield when you block. And, he get, and his attacks are so telegraphed, he gives you ample time to get around them and get under them to attack them. Um, also, the Iron Golem is a lot like the Log in the fact that he will always come to you, so you have complete control over where you fight him. Um, for the newer player, I always recommend fighting him in the center. Sometimes during the fight, he will dodge back like that, and if you're a more advanced player and he's near the edge, you can definitely chase him down and finish him off like that. But for the newer player, I definitely recommend a more conservative strategy of bringing him back to the center of the arena. The main strategy for fighting the Iron Golem is actually pretty simple and straightforward. Um, you just want to dodge his massive attacks and pick a knee and take it out. In fact, if you do enough damage to one knee, it'll actually eventually cause him to stagger stumble and eventually fall, where you can get a bunch of free hits in on him. The best weapon for this fight, at least in my experience, is the Claymore, because you can get one hit in on his knee and then back out. Um, but for your dex build, you can just two-hand your weapon and link in with continuous attacks. Once he's staggered like that, you don't want to give up. You just want to keep laying in and just keep attacking away at that knee. Eventually, he will fall down just like that. And if he's near an edge, he'll go right over it, and it'll win the fight for you. In fact, a lot of the more advanced players will manipulate the battle to, to that end. But for the newer player, or for the conservative player, um, it is just a wash, rinse, repeat process. Other than that, I'm Sunbro Sebastian. This has been Fighting the Iron Golem. And thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.